day 137 so i wake up under the porch you know it's not bad but i can only find one slipper i woke up at you know like 2 a.m i needed to take a leak and my one slipper was way over there and i was like well that's really odd i um, normally i keep everything on this so i um look around i look around i just give up and i, I do my thing with one foot um, and then this morning I'm looking around, I cannot find my slipper anywhere. I'm like, what the hell? And then I notice it way over here. It nuts. That's my slipper right there. Yeah, so I don't think I can get to it from under here because there's not enough space for me. So I'm thinking if I go around to the other edge of the porch, I can reach my hand under and get it. But why is my shoe all the way over there? Okay, I think I can get to my shoe from this way. Uh -huh. okay. Did it eat my shoe at all? I guess there are some teeth marks in the back of it. Yeah, something chewed it up a little bit, but not bad at all. Whatevs. Outside of the convenience store doing a resupply, just for like 30 miles or so up to the next place. Uh, when I woke up this morning, well, I guess after everybody else woke up this morning because uh, for a few hours before everybody else got up, 12 had a late night for, I think there were frogs in the area. Uh, not a noise I recognized, but it was really loud. It did keep her up, and, you know, I, I don't blame her. It was a lot of noise. Um, so I was like, yeah, fuck, sleep in, man. We're not headed anywhere. So people start waking up, and Snacks is like, hey, man, you want some chocolate? And, I was talking. He's like, well, there's mushrooms in it. Like, okay. You know, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of lit. You know, but not lit lit. I'm just, I'm start, it's starting to kick in. It did in the store. I'm like, oh, I'm high. Well, we don't really have much of an agenda today anyway. So we were thinking maybe we'll hang out since it's already kind of late. And see what breakfast options are available. Get a little breakfast and then head on. There was a slack packing option, but the place where you get dropped off for the 20, I think it was 18 miles back, is an over an hour drive. Um, and I was like, nah, I don't want to be, because you got to do it twice. You got to get out there first time to walk back, and then the second time you got to get me out there. And I was like, nah, it's an hour long drive. That's, that's, I don't have that in me. So we're just going to walk. Our packs are really light, though. We're not carrying as much as we should. I'm almost out of fuel. But I believe I have enough left to get me the 30 miles to the next town. Hiker boxes just don't have much in them right now. I did get a nice fanny pack, you know, but not a good one. You know, it just fits stuff a little better than my Patagucci. I'm still on the island, still looking out for something a little bigger. But yeah, the hiker boxes have had not, not had much in them at all lately. Everybody's got the, the fuel thingies I have, so, you know, they're draining them before I get there. It's what I assume, because there's not a fuel can to be had. Ah, nice. Meantime, enjoy my buzz I got going on and, and my coffee. It's not a bad day for it. I can look directly at the sun here. Check this out. Reverse. You look right at that thing, man. Very humid day already. But it's not hot yet, so that's cool. So I told 12 quite a while ago that you'll just be able to tell by looking at people if they're through hikers or whatnot. You know, you'll just, you wouldn't even think about it. Um, and that was a while ago. I'd forgotten about it. And we walked up here. And I was like, oh, hikers. And she goes, no, they hikers. She's like, look at their gear. I'm like, this shit is shiny and you look at it all. But you thought those things are like lasers. But you, but you, but you. Everything's so new. She's like, no, day hikers. She's like, yeah, remember you told me you'd be able to tell the difference instantly? She's like, I saw them walk by. I could totally tell they were day hikers or weekenders. Weird place to start though, man. If I was going to start in all places, Philadelphia would not be it. That's not bad. Two days worth of food in there. It's sitting like, what, 37 pounds? And that's with two liters of water as well. <clears throat> yeah, so that went on till I think, 9 o'clock last night? Or maybe 8 o'clock. No, 9 o'clock was the last one. But today's Sunday, so they got the extra special one going on. Yeah. But yeah, they're, they need to turn that thing off. Or, you know, set the timer on it so maybe like 7 is the last one. Don't they know they have people sleeping under their stairs? The shop across the street, they got old stuff. What is that from like that? 
70s maybe, early 70s, late 60s. What is this? Super old stuffs. I don't even know if this is actually a shop. I guess they got furniture up, right? Yeah, it totally is. We're having breakfast over here. That kid's too brilliant to be in a small town like this. And we're off. Nice, we got a little bit of road walking, you know, got to cross the bridge and all that stuff and then get to the other side. There is what looks to be a pond in about five miles, so that is the short-term goal. Hey, if it's really nice, maybe we'll stay there. Who knows? I did check back in time where Crawler was back in 2017 on this day, and I've only got like two or three days ahead of him. Today, he was going to end at that uh, Easy Bake Oven Shelter, or whatever it was called, something bake, wake and bake shelter, uh, brick oven shelter, something like that. So I don't know, I'm good three or four days ahead of him. You know, that's all he'll surprise me and bust out of 30, so I, I gotta keep ahead of that guy. Just a little bit, not, not a lot. Yeah, let's get out of town. Wow, I like that the rock comes right up to the sidewalk. You don't see that very often. Looks like they have a stage here. Backdrop and maybe hang out over here, watch it across. I don't know. Pretty cool. Looks like a dead end, but I'm assuming we're going under the roads. Just a nice leisurely walk in the woods. Smoke them if you got them. Jumping from this bridge can be fatal and tragic. Damn right it can. Let's see how, how high this thing is when we get up over here. I'd pick a bigger bridge if I wanted to jump off one. But at the same time, if you get too much hang time, you got time to think about what a dumbass you are for jumping off a bridge in the first place. Shoe, flash, shoe, flies in the buttermilk, shoe, flash, shoe. Oh, yeah. That's an eagle. Oh, yeah, there's definitely an eagle over there. It's too far away from my camera to get anything good, though. But, yeah, 12 could tell. She zoomed in. Like, those are eagles. I was like, they are not. But she's right, they are. It's huh, flying around. Maybe it'll come this way. No, if he's just hanging out down there. Is that a pterodactyl? Hey, look at that, we made it. Yeah, and this time I'm not nearly pressured. Last time we pretended to pee back on this. I'm like, ah, oh, screw you, Pennsylvania. But no, I had a pretty good time in you this time, Pennsylvania. We can hang out again. Uh, I assume I'll be walking through you uh, at least once or three more times. Who knows? I think I got some more hiking left in me. It gets easier every time. Just our daily reminder that we're being watched. Right, where is it? Right, right there. The water is very clear. I mean, it's shallow, but you know, it's still clear.
Don't remind me, man. Oh yeah, and I forgot, and on the way out of town, fire hooked me up with some safety supplies, so damn, I am sitting pretty right now. Thank you, brother. I'm living these shorter food halls, carrying more water than usual. But it's you know, a warm day and I want to be able to drink as much as I want to drink and if I'm carrying less food I can carry a little more water. But food every 30 to 50 miles is freaking nice. A man can get used to this. We just got asked where we parked because it turns out all these cars are waiting in line. So people are like, how'd you get here? Yeah, thinking we have the secret. We're like, oh no, we walked in from you in the south. So I was like, you can park your car there and come in. It'll be a little faster. But yeah, this place is uh, pretty popular. So I guess they got to wait for one to leave and then somebody unlocks the thing and somebody can come in. Oh man, no That's thanks. Wild. Well, we're going to be surrounded by people. But they did say we were allowed to swim in the water as to where gut hook said we couldn't. So we'll see if there's people swimming in the water. I wouldn't mind going swimming. I think the girl in the car is wrong, man. It says no swimming all over the place. No. Well, she's still no swimming. But what are you gonna swim in, brother? This is a trickle. Now I did say something about glacial lake up here, glacially fed lake. But are there any glaciers anywhere around here? I mean, the water could have traveled from a glacier really far away. I don't, I don't know. Um, you can tell it's flooded at one point. Debris. stuff for it just for us kick ass we're allowed to sleep here but none of y'all rules you can't just say you're one either you gotta prove it by like smelling a certain way and like as a test while they're talking to you they drop it like a cheeto on the ground and if you don't eat the cheeto it's obvious it's obvious <laughs> yeah i know you would <laughs> So the herd has thinned considerably since we started going uphill a little while ago. There's like a little waterfall back there. Gives you a reason like, okay, okay, we made it somewhere. A stop, we'll get a family photo. And so we're hoping that there's swimming up here. Maybe this is something only the real people know. And the people in line did seem pretty adamant that you could swim here. I was like, they told us you could. And he's like, oh no, you can't. Just keep going. And keep going. That's what we do. Notice the, the lack of annoying rocks. See, Jersey rocks know that you should just lay down on the flat side. It makes it easy to be stepped on. PA rocks didn't figure that out. They all think they should do this. So look at this, Pennsylvania. This could be you with just another foot of dirt. This feels really good under my feet. Still got a little rock poking out here and there, here and there, but you know, for the most part, nice flat. And even where there are rocks, the rocks know to lay down, as rocks should. Rocks should know their places.
It is not likely we're going to come across a comfortable nor sandy beach. No, it is rocky everywhere. They're not real active, but a bunch of a bunch of them stir as I walk. But there's the huge tadpoles in here from bullfrogs. They're just hiding in the rocks. Oh, I see you. I can hear them splashing. Oh, some of them have legs. We're leaving our bags behind. We're just going for a little walk around the lake. See if we can find some nice stealth campsites or anything. If not, we'll head on down the trail. But lots of partying goes on here. This place is just covered in broken glass all over the place. Very popular party spot. Well, it is blueberry season, but they're so small, they're hardly worth picking. But we were standing there for a minute, so I was thinking I'll grab a few just for the video, you know. Small little things. We didn't find anything that looked like good camping around here, so we're going to carry on. Now, there is a crater lake coming up tomorrow. It's in about 14 miles from here. I think I maybe do a short day and end our day there. And then the next day there's a town after that and we'll resupply and blah blah blah. Rinse and repeat. But it'd be nice to hang out at a lake. I happen to have been gifted those uh, mushroom filled chocolates. So maybe we'll hang out at the lake and eat a few mushroom chocolates. Sounds like a nice day. We'll see what the lake looks like first. This one's rocky as hell. The water is warm. I'd love to swim in it. We're not supposed to, and there's just no good way into it. It's all just kind of rock, so we didn't end up going in. Be one thing if we could set up camp near here and then go over and play in the water and go back to camp. That's what we're looking for. Didn't find it. We'll carry on to the next place. So we went up the way about a mile, found this nice little spot here. The water's got some tannins in it, so it's a bit on the brown side. 
And it doesn't filter entirely clear either, but good enough to make coffee with, right? So in that convenience store, I found new bagged meats. There was imitation crab meat in a bag. So I was like, oh, fuck, let's try that. You know, looking for something different. It was gross. I just added it to top ramen, you know, because I didn't want to mess up the whole thing in door side and whatnot and have to eat all that. But yeah, imitation crab meat in a bag is not my, not my preference, not my thing. On the way into camp, we, we, we saw a bear. I mean, no big deal, but we, we saw a bear. And then a hiker just passed us right now. She's like, I just saw Mama and some babies, like, point two back. And so, you know, we're, you know, we get a little bear activity tonight. I got my garbage strewn around camp and everything to lure them in, you know. So we got 12's food bag hanging on one end, or no, both her and my food bag on one end, and my garbage and my backpack on the other end of my hammock. Get some cool nighttime bear videos. Might actually be scary. Yeah, I'm down for a little thrill. Are you talking or are you listening to them? No. <laughs> I'm making a video. Okay. <laughs> when do I ever listen to my videos? Well, I know, but you, it was long, so. Oh. Yeah, I'm still recording. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, good night, everybody. I'll see you in the morning.